Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Welcome back. It has been quite Quite a while since we've been alive. Mm. What, six weeks, eight weeks? It's probably around two months that we've been live. And man, we have missed you guys and we're glad you joined us tonight. We uh, pushed up to the last second to get everything set up. We had um, we had dinner and we had to rush over here and get everything <laughs> set up for the dinner or get set up for the live stream. And uh, here we are. So how many people are watching tonight? If you look right here in the screen, you okay. got, got okay. two, two that are watching so, so far. We're in 38 seconds in. Okay. So if you're watching this on Rewind, we are going to just talk with the audience for a little while, and then we're going to get right into the content. So if you're watching this on Rewind, you want to get into the meat of the content, you're probably going to have to go ahead and uh, fast forward a bit. So... Everybody uh, that's popping in, go ahead and introduce yourself in the chat and let's talk a little bit, see what's been going on in your world. And then we'll share a little bit about what's been going on, going on in ours. <laughs> so we got four people popping in. Hey, Carolyn. Hey. I hope everything's been well. I haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah. How's everybody been? We're going to have a good one tonight. Everybody is should be gearing right. up for the fall garden. Hey, Alton, Mr. Alton Moody. He was here probably, what, last week, last Monday or something. He came out to visit with us. He don't live too far from here down in Foley, and uh, he brought all kinds it's of goodies. Tony Moody's dad? No. Alton's the one that came from Foley the other day. Okay. Remember, he brought us all the, mm -hmm. all the stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He loaded us up with a, a bottle of wine and uh, some seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a, and a planting tub. I can't remember what all he gave us quite a bit. Wow. Well, thank you. I guess when he came over. Okay. Yeah. Low light con condition. And I took a picture of my brassicas and I'm going to share with you guys tonight what's been going on with them. Um, <clears throat> last, well, two years ago, I did a, a video on, starting a fall garden when really it wasn't starting the fall garden it was planning for the fall garden and everybody that lives in zone eight gulf coast area zone seven eight uh in and around where we are we're going to discuss our temperatures that we have here because zone eight in washington state will be different from a zone eight that oh. we have here okay i'm going to type out on the keyboard to everybody while you talk. All right. So I did a video two years ago and I reviewed that video when I was in my wood shop while I go working. And I was like, wow, that's a terrible video. But I'm glad we are going live tonight <laughs> to better discuss what I was trying to explain in the video. So I think with two years of YouTube experience, yeah, I probably communicated a little bit mm -hmm. better this time around. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad to, uh, to redo the information that I was trying to put out to the audience there. And I noticed that video is starting to trend a lot as we're moving closer to the fall. And so it's probably time that, uh, that we do that and we do that video justice. Animal and Hey, welcome. Started my new homestead from scratch. Got a $5,000 quote for one acre of fencing. Wow. I need that bottle of wine. <laughs> Yeah. You can get a whole entire acre of land for $5,000 here. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, it's expensive. Expensive. Wow. Hello from Seams, Alabama. That's not too far from here. That's mm -hmm. real close. Mm -hmm. Aunt TRS. Yeah. I don't know if all y'all have been uh, going through all the rain that we've, you know, like what we've had here, but whew. Middle of Mississippi is about to wash away right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They've gotten they've gotten some really bad storms. I think overnight, two week, two days ago, they got nine inches of rain overnight. Wow, that's a lot. They had to evacuate some places and they showed cars and buildings all underwater. So they got a lot and it's over and around Pensacola and Mobile area right now, but it's not as it's not flooding like it was in Mississippi, but mm -hmm. that storm system is over us right now. We've gotten four inches in two days, 
So we've gotten quite a bit of rain, right. but we're not saturated to the point that some, some of the other places are. Hey, from Op. Yep, that's a neighbor for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Second year of La Nina pattern. Yeah. Um, you know, that was a hot topic, what, about 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. La Nina and El Nino was, was popular and That's everybody right. just blamed the whole weather pattern on it. But mm -hmm. they found out there wasn't any money in that. They got to blame it on climate change. <laughs> 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 so everything is the oh, result Mobile of County. climate change. Mm -hmm. We're swimming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you mm -hmm. are down in Mobile County. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing that the bay is connected to the uh, to the gulf down there. That's that thing, right. That thing would fill up. And they would flood out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have quite a few people. And you want to go ahead and. Yeah, we're five it. minutes. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of it. Actual content starts now. Mm -hmm. um, for quite a few years, whenever I go out and I do my fall garden, I have to plan it and plan it. By planning, I mean, I pull out a calendar. And let me go ahead and share my screen. So give me a second. Bear with me. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you what I do. Um, Odenville. Where's that at? Odenville, Alabama. Odenville. I think that's up by oh, Birmingham. Odenville. My apologies. Yeah. That's, oh, I think that's, that's up there close to northern Alabama. Yeah. It's pretty country up there. I'm not going to share the screen just yet. I've got a web page that I'm going to I'm going to put up here. Um, let's see if I can get it to pop in. Hello from the bar. There we go. Oh, there it went. <laughs> Add to the stream. There we go. It's popping in. Okay. okay. Um, it's not in the description yet, but if you're watching this on Rewind, I will put the link to this in the description. Um, Urban Farmer website has some wonderful information. And for a number of years, I've been going there and I've been downloading these uh, calculators. One of my favorites is the spring vegetable uh, calculator and then the fall vegetable calculator. And I have these two saved to my desktop here at home and at work, but don't tell anybody <laughs> just so I can make quick references right. while I'm on lunch break. <laughs> so if you go here to the Urban Farmer website and you download these calculators, now I'm going to switch back. I'm going to share the screen and we're actually going to go to the fall calcul calculator and let's do some talking over there. Um, do, 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 to share my screen. Can everyone hear us all right? Yeah, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you, yeah, give us a thumbs up. If you're watching. If you can hear us. That, okay. that thumbs up lets everybody know that right. when we're live, that it generates more traffic to us. It lets everybody else on YouTube know that we're live so they can see us and join us. And you don't have all the fun to yourself. <laughs> Hello from Navarre, Emerald yeah. Water Life Homestead. Floating chickens, pigs, and goats. Too much rain. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, uh, okay, let's see. I got a, I've got a split screen. Let me see if I can do a little bit better on this. I'll stop it. I'm going to share it. Share screen. Over here. What I. Actually, you just do that side by side, but oh, that's not the actual mm. what I want to share. Share screen. Okay, bear with us. Window. This is what I wanted to do. This way, you guys can get a good picture. Okay. Yay. Let's let this generate. I got slow internet out here in the country. Hey. Apocalypse Home said, "Hey, what's going on, yeah. man?" Yeah, I watch his channel. He watches mm -hmm. ours. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, pop in there. Pop in there. If this doesn't go in, it's going to ruin my entire live stream. Uh-oh. We don't want that to happen. No, we don't. Can't you just do a split screen like you've done before or just put us over there? 
I'm going to try to share the screen real quick. He's got some great information. He's just trying to pull it up and put it on the screen so y'all can see it and also see us down at the bottom window. So just bear with us. I keep waiting for a window of the sun to dry up all the rain so I can get out there and cut the grass. <laughs> I love cutting the grass. Some women I know don't enjoy it, but I really do enjoy it. It's my opportunity to get some sun. And I like, you know, we have, um, what do you call that lawnmower? We have a zero turn. Zero turn and yeah, and it gets it. So I can get on there and just meow, meow, meow. Oh, that popped in, but then I, fun. it doesn't show on the screen. <laughs> All right, one last time. We're gonna do go back to split screen and just see if I can show you from there. I don't do weed eating though. Randall's gotta take care of yeah, all that. Yeah, let me do the weed eating. That tears your legs up. Now, can you see guys see the crop? calculator that's on the left over here uh let me uh, post a comment real quick if you can make any of that stuff out when to start fall vegetable seeds calculator and it's we got, got a date yeah and we got a we got a little delay here so we got to give it a second for people to respond so that we can see it well we are glad to have you <laughs> if you cannot see the crop calculator on the left hand let us know that also yeah and yeah definitely but i enjoy the lawnmower though if i had sheep i wouldn't be able to get out there and enjoy it and the grass is crazy out of control, too. I have to put my boots on just to walk out in the grass. There's frogs out there trying to jump on me and little bitty snakes and all sorts of stuff. So Okay, Michael said, I can see it. It's just a little fuzzy. Okay, so well, I'm going to try to save it as a PDF and then introduce it into the chat. It's just a picture, if nothing else. So. And then someone else said, Emerald Water Life Homestead said they could see it. Maybe if you uh, enlarge it or. So we're going to do a uh, fig tour next month. We're looking forward to that. It'll be the second one this year. We're heading up to Chattanooga. Yep. Okay, that's not working. Yeah, just in, just make that one bigger because I said it was fuzzy. All right. Well, I wish I could make it bigger. Oh, okay. Take us out of it. Then I can't see the monitor. Uh -uh. <laughs> No. All right, let's press forward. All right, so whenever you open up the calculator over here on the left, right here at the top, you enter your first frost date for your area. For 8B here in Flemington, Alabama, that typically is around the 1st of November. Now, if you look on some of the website, USDA's website, It'll say it's earlier than that. Our first frost average is around October 15th. But that I think that's kind of changed here in recent years. And our most re our most recent up-to-date frost date is around November 1st. Now, some of the crops I don't mess with here. Last year, we tried Brussels sprouts. And I planted them. I started the seeds indoors like I was supposed to. I transplanted them out like I was supposed to. We grew them all winter long. They didn't freeze to the ground during the hard freeze. And they never did produce. And my friend David the Good had the same exact experience also with his. We compared notes. Um, I, I went over and looked at his plants. He looked at mine. <clears throat> and his was doing the exact same thing that mine was doing. That Where the Brussels sprouts are supposed to form, 
they would just kind of open up into a little little flower mm -hmm. and uh, they just they would never produce so i'm not doing brussels sprouts now what i would do is i go through here and i would clean up my list and i would just delete those line items now, if on we the had list. A, a greenhouse can we do brussels sprouts the problem with the Brussels sprouts here is it doesn't stay consistently cool enough for those little sprout heads to, to form the What about the in a greenhouse, bowl. though? It stays too warm. Oh. We would need a refrigerator house <laughs> to keep it in the temperature range, range uh, cool enough that it needs to be in. For so the you can't of time. grow them in the wintertime or the fall? No, it's just, it's just uh, it don't get cold enough here. Sad face. Yeah, sad face, I mm -hmm. know. But cabbages do good. Um, now, there are two different types of cabbages. You have like a 50-day uh, cabbage, little small varieties. Mm -hmm. And then you have a standard stone head type cabbage that is like a 120-day cabbage. So be mindful of what your days of maturity are. Um, <clears throat> it matters. Matter of fact, if I look on here and you look up at the top, I click on the the box where it says transplant date, this number right here is actually telling me they have calculated it out for a 120 day maturity mm. on cabbage. Broccoli is something different. Brussels sprouts didn't do good for anybody. Let me back up, get off. 8B or 9A. There we go. All right, so that's how the, the spreadsheet is put together. Now, this column that you see right here, <clears throat> this is when you're going to start these seeds indoors. And if you notice, there are blank spaces in here. Beets does not have a date to start indoors. Neither does carrots, chard, fennel, greens, kale, kohlrabi, <clears throat> lettuce, onions, peas, radish, Because we plant spinach, that from seed, right? And turnips. Yay! Yeah, you stole my thunder. <laughs> 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 the yeah, reason yeah. that these do not have <clears throat> dates next to them is just like Michelle said. I'm these, learning. These are direct so. Yeah. Now the ones that do have dates here, they're going to have a transplant date. So this column over here is for when you're going to transplant out those seed starts that you started indoors. Now the middle column here is direct so. This is where the majority of your seeds are going to fall because you typically have a lot of greens that grow fall, winter, year, and spring. Mm -hmm. So your beets, you're going to direct sow them. And you're going to direct sow them yesterday. <laughs> 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 Almost quite literally. So I think this you was, need to get out there tonight and, and plant some beets. I got to get on it. I'm behind. <laughs> Actually, we got to get our sweet potatoes out of the beds. Yeah, it's just been raining so much. I know. I've been wanting to get those and sweet potatoes out for a week. And Peas and if it don't dry out here soon, we're going to lose all that stuff, and that's not good. Mm -mm. But we've got two salad garden beds that are um, that are full of sweet potatoes right now. Mm -hmm. So beets should be going in the ground right now if you are in first frost date of November first. Carrots, you're about a week or so, a couple of weeks behind. You, I would say it's a good time to go ahead and plant carrots. Carrots do really good here. Chard this weekend. Need to be mm -hmm. thinking about planting chard. Uh, fennel should have already been in the ground. Greens, it is prime time. Today is the day um, that you should have been planting your greens. Plant some greens. <laughs> we have been, we got peas, butter beans, sweet potatoes. Okay, this weekend we're cleaning out the garden <clears throat> and planting. I think I that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. On some so, kale, too, and that's wrapped up in that little section right there. It's going to be a gardening weekend this mm -hmm. weekend. Kale, kohlrabi, we're all in the window for... We're in the window for all these, all this stuff right now. Your, all your lettuces. Yay. If you've got peas, and we discussed this because we had stir fry the other night, mm -hmm. snow peas. If, yeah. you, if you like snow peas, you need to be putting those in the ground right now. Mm -hmm. uh, radishes, spinach, and turnips, all direct sow going in the ground right now. Now, I'm probably a couple of weeks late making this video because I have cheated you out of your 
uh, seed starting times. It's not too late to start right now. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about planting another round of broccoli uh, and cabbage just in case what I've got mm -hmm. is already too far along. So this is the, the calculator I just want to share with you guys tonight. Go download this calculator. So we need to, um, where's the link to download the calculator? It's going to be in the description. Okay. But that's what I showed them earlier was the website, Urban Farmer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, downsize this and we're going to get back to it. Okay. Here we are. All right. Welcome back, guys. That's what I wanted to share with you tonight was that calculator. And if you are a gardener, and if you are able to garden a fall garden in the deep south where we are right now is the time to get on it. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and share up some pictures. You've got pictures? I have pictures, but wait a minute. No, I can't share the pictures because I didn't convert them to, to save on here. Sorry, guys. There goes my uh, <laughs> guess who's calling. Yeah, right. Her <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> saw how she ran out of here to go talk mm -hmm. to a guy yeah okaloosa county tay tay hey, hey. Tay -tay. <laughs> yeah that calculator helps so much thank you you're welcome curtis stone's website i don't think that's curtis stone's website um urban farmer urban urban gardener I don't, don't think that's me, I'm new to this yeah stuff. I don't think that's Curtis Stones I thought mm -hmm. it at first I went and looked at it and because I thought the same thing but I recently turned vegan and vegetarian I thought and then later on I realized nope it's vegan so um I'm starting to really try and get involved in planting all these vegetables and figuring all that out you know what I do have a way to share all right let's share video. some of that I'm going to share my screen back out and we're going to take a look at the, at my little vegetables that we've got going on here. Do, 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 do. Stay with us. <laughs> I'm going to share the screen again and we are going to take a look. Somebody said, Oh Lord. I'm not sure what they <laughs> said. Oh Lord about that. We're going to, we're, we're trying to share our screen. <laughs> All right. Why well, they're puny looking? They got a bunch of little holes on there. They are loaded with caterpillars. I sprayed them all ago with some uh, some neem oil. Good. All right, success. Here we go. Right here, this hole. I got um, five cells in a row here. Not the five cells wide. So I got twenty five. Marathon broccoli, and I planted this over a month ago. So these uh, these have had time to my boyfriend <laughs> to grow up a little bit. Yeah, tap over here. I'm just gonna say, and you used it again. <clears throat> Can you give me one little second? Thank you. Now on the other side of the uh, tray here, we got uh, some twister broccoli. Green Magic Broccoli. So this whole tray right here is broccoli. And I know it's got holes in it. We got the stupid cabbage moth. Matter of fact, right up in the corner of that leaf up here, there's some moths under that. But you know what? Those four cats that we have, they are great for killing moths. Unfortunately, the pretty butterflies are included in that. But hey, um, my male cat, he'll eat anything flying. So hats off to the cats in the garden eating all the, the moths and the caterpillar butterflies try not to share too much of my screen here now that looks good yep so on the far left we got some ring globe artichoke that we're starting out we're going to start a whole new bed of artichoke Artichoke does really well for us. Mm -hmm. We've had some really good luck yeah. with it. So we decided to incorporate more of it into our flower beds. Mm -hmm. It's also a good, really good looking plant. It is. It's really pretty. It's really leaves. pretty. Got some comfrey started here from Seed. Uh, Michelle's sister mm -hmm. sent us some seed. My and sister. So, yep. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. My sister, Tammy. Yeah. Tammy. From Texas. Yeah. They sent us some comfrey seeds. So we got some comfrey going. Ruby perfection cabbages and stonehead cabbage. And then right on the end here in this back corner, you see some of our purple uh, artichokes that are coming up over Yum. there. So I just want to share with that with you also that that's what. Aw. His broccoli starts got obliterated. Yeah, the stupid caterpillars won't mm -hmm. stay off of them, but I right. sprayed them all ago, so they should stay off of them for a little while. I'm telling you, them cats, man, they're awesome. I don't want the cats on top of my, my starts. They'll be breaking and everything. Yeah, there's that, <laughs> but. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we're dealing with aphids right now, Tay Tay. Uh, well, I walked out and looked at the uh, apple tree mm -hmm. and all that new growth from all this rain is just all loaded up with aphids. Ugh. Yeah, it's frustrating, but yeah. I don't think it's, uh, we're too far along into the summer to really worry about it. Mm -hmm. They're not going to damage the tree. Our tomatoes. I did a second round of tomatoes in the garden. Um, I started them from seed in June, grew them up for a couple of weeks, planted them in the garden, and they now have tomatoes about Good. this big around. Because our first um, tomatoes, they didn't, they didn't produce. Yeah, we did a video on that. We, mm -hmm. our, um, we, we planted nothing but heirlooms, I and mean, it has some nice big tomatoes, but they didn't load up with the amount of mm -hmm. tomatoes that hybrids load up with. And so I chose to go back and order and order some uh, hybrid seed, mm -hmm. and it seems like that these are going to do much better. We have been out of the 90s for a few days now with all this rain and cloud right. coverage and everything. So um, nice cool. tomatoes are doing good. They're enjoying the cooler weather. And uh, peppers are really starting to put on right now, too. So, yeah, I was disappointed our peppers didn't do much earlier. Yeah, usually the later in the summer, like right now. Okay. I went out there the other day and looked, and they're, uh, they're loading up in blooms. Mm -hmm. So, I think our peppers will be okay on our pepper harvest this year. Good. I just need to get out there and fertilize them one more round. Right. Yeah, give them that extra kick, extra, <laughs> extra cup of motivation. <laughs> They're big bugs and then a bunch of tiny red orange babies with it. Safe. Oh, if they're big bugs, it's probably uh, those leaf footed stink bugs. Ugh. They get on everything, yeah. they wreck everything. Yeah, I hate dealing with Is at the end <laughs> of summer. Like the war movie, <laughs> yeah, at the end of summer, the bug pressures are, are just horrendous. It makes me want to scream every time mm. I go out. I got army worms all over our sweet potato plants right now. Mm. And so we've got sweet potato vines with no leaves. Oh, well, at least the sweet potatoes have already. I dug done. down, we harvested one out of there. We had perfect sweet potatoes. We planted Beauregard this year. Mm -hmm. And I think we're really going to like those Beauregards. We plant, we pulled that out over a week ago. So it's probably, um, it's probably ready to, to cook that one sweet potato and sample, yeah. see how it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Green peppers oh, done really wonderful. good. Yeah. We've not had such good luck with our bell peppers or. Yeah, we had uh, what, three or four weeks of drought in the spring. More so that peppers. really hurt the spring garden. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as that three week drought was over with, it just rained every day. Yeah, every day. They said today in Mobile, uh, Alabama has gotten rain 60 out of 65 days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, if you look on the global United States map at the most rainfall of the entire United States, Mobile is the number one rainfall out of the entire United States. Wow. It says that we have such gully washers that come in and dumps a lot of rain yeah. that we have a lot of sunshine that goes with that. Mm -hmm. Whereas out in Washington state, they have more rainy days, but a lot of light rain. Yeah. Just like, and rain. so we accumulate faster with heavier rains right. yeah they probably have more rainy days than we do for sure mm -hmm. yeah but we have more gully washers we do they do yeah hurricanes so help with that very poor but cantaloupe and watermelon awesome no pumpkins they yeah my pump pumpkins my either. pumpkins didn't make it this year mm -hmm. horrible year for pumpkins yeah. but on another note of hurricanes um i was watching weatherman plus at least the guy i go to for my weather on YouTube, this is the most inactive year on record for hurricanes. Hmm. We've only had 
one or two named storms. We're only expecting a couple of storms to form within the next 10 or 12 days, but then nothing after that. Good. So I think we might make it through this entire year without. That'd be great. Um, a severe hurricane hitting the United mm-hmm. States. So that would be great. We got a, I have a coworker that screams global warming at everything and it's not everything is global warming. Everything is in a new office. Yeah. Sometimes oh. things just run in cycles. Yeah. Assassin <laughs> bugs. The one thing about an assassin bug is really big. Now they look like the leaf footed uh, stink bug, but assassin bugs are uh, solo bugs. They don't hang out in clusters and groups. Those leaf footed stink bugs will hang out in clusters and they'll dominate one plant and just kill whatever they're at. Mm. So, assassin Not bugs, you only nice. see them one at a time. Right. Ryan Hall. I'll check okay. that out. Yeah, Ryan Hall. Mm. Yeah, we watch Spinks too, which he's really popular here in the. He's, he's in Bruton and he has this studio set up in his house. So he's pretty popular around the Northwest Florida and this area. He's pretty much on the money, but that's who I watch is Sphinx. Yeah. Somebody had posted his link up on Facebook and I was watching the video one day a few years ago. Mm-hmm. And I said, Hey, is this guy forecasting the weather out of his basement? <laughs> and then he responded back. I'm not actually in my basement. I have a studio next door. <laughs> and he, he's like legitimate. He has employees. He has yeah. all the weather mm-hmm. subscription forecasting programs. Mm-hmm. He has a degree in it. He even fills in for other weather men in the area. Mm-hmm. He's uh, really good. Yeah, he's really good. Mm-hmm. So anytime we have tornado thorn uh, warnings in the area, three o'clock in the morning, he gets yeah. up, he streams, yeah. and he is spot on like with you until it, it yeah, passes. Yeah, he, he'll do a lot of live streaming, let you know if there's a tornado in the area. Yeah. But we'll check out Ryan Hall for sure. Yeah. Suck the life out of it. Yeah, that's what those leaf-footed stink bugs do. They gang up on one thing and they just decimate mm-hmm. it and kill it. Army worms are the same way. And those cabbage moths. I hate those things. Yes, I don't like those cabbage moths. Yeah. Well. Well. You guys have anything you want to talk about? Because that is going to wrap up the actual content that I wanted to share with you guys. I know it wasn't much to it, but hopefully you got some some value out of that. And I, I know that website's valuable to me because that is what I go to. That is what I reference. And mm-hmm. I plan my entire garden around those spreadsheets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. We appreciate you uh, being with us tonight. Go ahead and hit us the th- give us a thumbs up if you've not done that already. And we thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. On Wait a minute. She wants updates on the breeze chickens. Okay, updates on the breeze chickens before we go. From Aunt TRS, we bought those chicks five months ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're pretty expensive. I know they're heavily sought after. Yeah. But Michelle has turned vegetarian. Mm-hmm. So our poultry intake has really went down. Mm-hmm. Now I'm on the fence of I'm trying to get rid of them. Um, Thank you, Alton. I'm trying to get rid of them because mm-hmm. I don't want to harvest uh, nine birds and put them in the freezer because I don't know how long they'll be out there because we already have meat birds. And Randy's kind harvested. of turning vegetarian or vegan by default so i i don't have to have meat with every meal i don't mm-hmm. miss it um when given the option i generally go to a uh i share meals with my with uh, michelle and maya generally cooks meat for herself right well she had wings tonight and i'd like to not to i had a vegetarian chili mm-hmm. and i really enjoyed it mm-hmm. with the cool weather um so we are getting rid of our brees breed we're going to keep back a breeding trio and we're going to downsize the flock to something that we can come back and breed up and harvest. Because I'm not even harvest. eating eggs, so everything is just kind of pointless right now. She's doing the vegetarian diet until it's she gets vegan. Way- vegan. Le- vegan is past the vegetarian. You know, <laughs> know, vegetarian is like no meat, no chicken, uh, no pork, all that, and then 
they still do dairy, but vegan is no meat, no chicken, no pork, none of that. And then no dairy and no eggs. So Michelle's doing that now. Yeah. So we don't need as many chickens as what we have. Cause we had planned on harvesting the breeze and putting some of those in the freezer and letting that be a renewable source of poultry meat for right. us. And um, then I watched the documentary and was like, Oh, I think I want to be a vegan. <laughs> so we're going to keep back. Um, a rooster in two hens, and we're just going to try to let the others go. I know there are people in the area that can't find Brees. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make it available. If you need some breeding pairs or a flock or whatever it is. Well, you Carolyn said, talk to David about the Brees chickens. He may be interested. Yeah, I will. He knows I've got them. Well, does um, he, he may not know because he doesn't have do Facebook. You need to just reach out to him and yeah, call him on he's going to come get his plants here. So I have all David's plants over here. I'm mm -hmm. plant sitting. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure whenever he finds out that we're selling them, he'll probably want them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Well, if you're interested in them, sh are you on our Facebook? Yeah. Uh, you can shoot us a, uh, a, a message message on, on our Facebook. Farmington famous. Yeah. And I'm home all day tomorrow. So if you're available tomorrow, um, yeah, we're, we're really like first come, first serve. Where are you at, Aunt TRS? You're, you're here local, like Op or something. Yeah, I think she said she's in Mobile. Mobile? Mobile Sims. County. Sims. Oh, might be in Sims. Sims. We'll have to see. Okay, well, either way, if you're on Facebook, shoot us a Facebook at Flemington Famous, and uh, you can reach us over there. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, we're getting rid of our turkeys too. So, yeah, Sims. Sims is less than an hour from here. It's not that far. It'd yeah. be good for you to come up mm -hmm. and visit with us. I and mean, we like we like visitors. Yeah, we like. Letting... So, if anybody, if any of our viewers are in the area and you want to come by and visit with us, shoot us a message. Yeah, let us know. Give us plenty of time to head up because we're usually heads up because we're usually busy. We stay pretty busy. <laughs> we, do. we stay booked out. We've matter of fact, we've got stuff planned all the way through January now. Yeah. Yep. Nothing. Not every weekend's book. Saturday. Saturday we have something. So. Yeah. But I think there might be Labor Day weekend. We're not booked. But after that, it's like every other weekend we're booked until January. So. Aunt TRS says crack. You know, stay, <laughs> stay off that crack. Let David have first. <laughs> first crack. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Well, we'll re we'll reach out to David and let him know. And and if he says, "Oh, I'll pass this time," then we'll we'll get back with you. Just make sure that you go on and um, um, join the Facebook page, and then that way we can private message back and forth. All right. Anything else, guys? I will be interested in a few months. I have to build a new coop first. I want chicks when I'm ready. Okay, yeah, okay. we're yeah, we're gonna see you in October. Matter of fact, we're doing a uh, a butchering session for that gathering. So we're gonna be holding back a couple of those breast chickens and we're yeah. gonna be butchering them mm -hmm. at or processing. Yeah, processing that processing at the Gulf Coast Homesteaders. Mm -hmm. There's tickets for that event. You can go on there and you can sign up for that class. It's not a hands-on event, but it's a up close and personal. Right. <clears throat> and we're going to do two in case you don't you don't uh, get good detail on the first. There was there'll be two bir two birds to butcher, and we're pretty thorough. Day. I mean, we've taught a class before on that, and we we've taught several people how to process chickens, and we are very thorough and take our time. And again, if I can do it, then I know anybody can do it because I'm new to all this. So yeah, it didn't take Michelle long. Matter of yeah. fact, the last time we harvested turkeys. I was bleeding one out and I was coming back and Michelle had already halfway broke down the, the <laughs> other one that I had just yeah. laid on the table. So she's, I didn't waste any time. She was doing good. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Yeah. We'll see you there. Oh, good. Emerald, Emerald Water Life Homestead will be there. That, good. That's Make awesome. sure you come up and uh, introduce yourself. Please do. Yeah. Yeah. We're not speaking this year at the event. We're just doing the classes. I think yeah. they've shifted to where the, the big YouTubes, big YouTubers, we're going to be doing the uh, doing the talks, and then we're the smaller local YouTubers are going to be doing the uh, mm -hmm. the classes. Right. Yeah, I think that's going to work out good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, we'll still be teaching. 
and we've got other opportunities to teach, you know, anytime we want to out there. So yeah, teach grafting and biochar and all that good stuff. Oh yeah. There's lots of stuff that we can always choose from mm -hmm. to teach on. <clears throat> all right, guys. All right. Well, it's been good hanging out with everybody. Yep. Thanks, Thanks for all the feedback and the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.